Hello, hello, Virgo. This is going to be your April 2022 Bone Curio reading, Virgo. I got some new charms, so I'm really excited about those. And then I ordered some new bones, too. So I'm going to be incorporating them next month. So we're going to play with a different, a couple of different ways to do this. But I'm really excited about what direction Spirit is going to lead me in. So Virgo, April 2022, what does Spirit have for Virgo? Virgo. April 2022. Oh, good. The sun was the first thing that came out face up, which is a positive thing. Oh, my God. Let me see. We had transformation. Tasha, almost ready? Okay. All right. Let's see. Virgo, Virgo, 20, 2022. Any messages for Virgo spirit? Any messages for Virgo? Okay, exclamation point is on the sun, which means that you really actually have some positive things that are coming in this month. And I'm really excited about it. For some of you, there could be some travel. Here's the thing. Um, the money card or the money purse is in your travel sector, which means some of you could be traveling to make money. Um, there may be something that also opens up that brings in some type of financial blessing. If you're a truck driver, Uber, Lyft, flight attendant, pilot, whatever, there looks like that there could be some money that is definitely going to be coming in for you guys. Now, in the good luck sector, we got the airplane. It's upside down. This could be travel delays, but there's still going to be travel. The good thing is you got the chicken foot, which is protection. We do have the crown, which is really good. It's kind of like you being on top of your game and then the tooth, which could be a lot of social interaction this month. Some of you could really be smiling a lot. You might be in front of people. There may be some recognition that's coming in. Now you do have the police badge and the handcuffs. The good thing is they're upright, which means that there's positive interaction with people of authority. Some of you could be connecting with somebody who owns businesses. This could be a legal case that goes your way. Transformation is here. Spirit is on top of this transformation in your good luck spell house which means that you have some things that are really opening up for you. And I get that you're getting a lot of recognition from people because of it. Some of you are going to be dealing with, um, I feel like some type of growth or change that's coming in that people are witnessing. And it looks like it's a positive thing. I mean, we have the bullet case in, but it's not really focused that way. It's focused more on the car or travel. So some of you definitely may be dealing with some some minor repairs or something with a vehicle this month, Virgo. Spirit is definitely on top of this. Pay attention to your cars. They could be making some type of sound or something that spirit is kind of bringing your way. You also have a new key, but it's focused towards good luck. If you are looking for a car, Virgo, I feel like some of you are going to have an opportunity of a, a vehicle or something coming in. The witch's hat, though, is kind of upside down on top of this key, which means that you may have an idea about getting a new vehicle or opening something up. This could be a new business, starting something new, but you're not 100% focused on something, um, on the manifestation. You do have the evil eye right next to it. So I'm wondering if some of you, there could be a little bit jealousy, and that's why the manifestation is upside down. The thing is, though, I see that the handcuffs and the police badge are literally blocking your good, the, the good spell work, which means whatever is happening in this sector, this bullet casing and this evil eye is not really even touching. So if some of y'all been having some people that are jealous or haters, they just looking from afar and watching you grow. It's not a whole lot that they can do. Spirit is on top of this transformation. Now we do have the devil and then we have evil eye in the love sector and then money upside down. Some of you may have um, people around you that may be close to you, but they could be draining you financially, or maybe you're even just feeling like I have to put more money into a situation when it comes. And this could be not necessarily even a person. This could be something that you're passionate about. So for some of you, I'm wondering if there could have been like a new opportunity or a new business that's opening up. There's some haters from afar, but you, there's such a transformation and spirit on top of it that I feel like that some of these people are, they're kind of hating on this passion that you have. Money is upside down. And this kind of makes me feel like some of y'all have friends that are looking at you, but they're not supporting you. They're not really stepping up for you because they see you have this passion. 
some of you may have even met somebody new and uh, you know you have some people that are against it but with the money upside down i feel like that this is somebody who is like i see you doing something that you love and you're passionate about but i'm really not trying to support you this is from afar it is um but here's the thing spirit is saying that you have a new beginning you're giving birth to something and I feel like that you do have, with the, the dog in the ancestor sector, you have loyalty there from spirit. You definitely have something that is coming in through them. And I think that they're opening some opportunities up for you, you know, because we got people that are face up around you. Here's the thing. I think that because the eye is turned upside down, but the people are upside right. I think spirit is saying, for some of you that are self-employed, you might need to expand your demographics. Some of you are, you're working with people or you are connecting with people that really are not a support system to you. They're not trying to help your business grow. You have some people over here, but you're face down, which means that you may have support in places that you don't see yet, Virgo. The play, uh, uh, the coyote bone on the play side is saying that some of you might need to open up your networking a little bit more. If you work for a company or something like that, this could even be trying to connect with other people that may be more like-minded that actually have the same type of passion that you have because I feel at that point that the money will turn around. Some of you, you may be making some new friends this year because of that, because some of the people that you are connected to are not your support system. The sword is over here, so I feel like some of you are cutting away um, unnecessary people this year not just this month this year spirit messages we have the money card on the line which could be watch your money but then we got a sword on the person who's face down this could also be because your back is turned you might need to also watch your back with some people and i think that's why some of you might be connecting with new people now when it comes to your home some of you may be creating an, uh, a home-based business and you may see some major growth that happens within the next six to nine months within this. There could also be expansion with your home because of money that's coming in. I feel like some of you may be looking at a new place, uh, an apartment or a house, but there's this thing of, I don't have all the money I need. Spirit is basically telling you that you need to go ahead and prepare for that. New job is coming in. Now, if you do have a business, if you're giving birth to a new job or a new um career or you know this is a, a business um what do you call it entrepreneurship you have something that definitely is growing and for some of you you may start it out of your home and grow it for a few of you a few of you for a few of yous where did i get used from isn't that like new york new jersey yous i don't know either we i just went somewhere virgo that i shouldn't have gone i'm, I'm coming back virgo let's get back into it so I feel like with the sword, you need to watch your back with some people that aren't supporting and then actually open your eyes to new people that will support you. Play is like all work and no play is going to be really detrimental to your health because we have the heart here, which means that some of you are definitely working yourself too much, but you're not playing. You really need to put that into perspective, um, especially if you're getting sick or anything like that. Because I feel like the spirit is like, watch your health, watch your health. Some of you are defi definitely dealing with some battles that may be a little bit unseen. Your back, your face down, sword is right there. So I think some of you, you really need to kind of pay attention to some people that you're dealing with. In the bad spell work, we definitely have something going on with internet, global. Um, the good thing is, is that I don't feel like this is really affecting you. The pitcher's glove is upside down, which means that this person could be throwing um but i don't feel like it's hitting you this could also be some jealousy too where somebody is trying to cause some problems if you're dealing with somebody and you're trying to do reversals on this person i think this person has something set up where they're trying to reverse stuff back to you so you may have to get a little creative if you practice with this the pitcher's glove is showing that they're not trying to catch whatever's coming in also so I feel like if you are doing, if you're a practitioner and you're doing reversal work, you may want to try to weaken this person's defense. Now, for some of you, this is people that are online that could be watching you. Some of you may have some evil eye energy that's coming in because we do see it coming in on top of your heart. You know, this is jealousy. I would say in relationships, but I feel like because the money um, is upside down, the money chip is upside down. For some of you, this is people that are jealous about finances or something turning around for you. 
Now we do have the road opener on top of school and education. Some of you are going to be learning some new things coming in this year. Spirit is telling you, though, pay attention. You got the tooth and you got the claw over here. Let me see. Spirit is surrounding it. There's some spiritual stuff that there's a little bit of a battle, Virgo, that's coming in. Now, we know a lot of people don't always believe in spiritual battle, battles, but some of you, you are. And it could be because there's an opportunity that's coming in. Spirit is trying to warn you about some things. We got the demon over here upside down and we got a person that's hiding behind this demon. So with the Loa or Arisha, and we got the doctor bag over here and health issues. Somebody could be trying to cause some type of health issues for you. Could just be somebody stressing you out. Doesn't if they're not a practitioner, this is like, you know, somebody that could be fucking with you on your social media, creating fake pages, um, trying to cause some, some type of stress for you. If this is somebody that you work with, they could be misplacing paperwork you know, doing some things to kind of keep you tied up that cause you to stress because we definitely have the demon upside down and spirit is showing somebody's hiding behind this energy. So you, you got somebody who's definitely hating, but we see that right here. So I will say the thing is you got the key on top of your money right on this line. You have money that's coming in. You have something that's really about to open up. There may even be some type of talk about expansion with a business, even relocating to grow a business, but we got it on top of the money in the family. If you're going into business with a family member or partner, a spouse or whatever, there's major growth that's coming in. Somebody may have some health issues that they need to really watch out for. This could be both of you, but I feel like that there's a lot of work that's coming in this year, but it's going to really open up some opportunities for you. Be prepared. There may even be a big move six to nine months. It could happen sooner. I feel like with this new job, right on top of your house, you got money coming in, but maybe there is a thought of, do I want to be in this location? Do I want to move to a different city? Do I want to move to a different state to open up other opportunities? You know, will my spouse or my children be okay with it? There's also, you know, the stress of somebody's health may not be the best. Stress may aggravate you or it could aggravate somebody in your family. The good thing is that you do have spirit on top of the other key, which means that this is this is spirit kind of navigating, helping you navigate some things around. They're really telling you, though, to pay attention to some people. I'm telling you guys, if you're trying to start a business, you really need to expand your demographics or kind of do a, a, a case study or research your area to really see if you need to reach out further. And I feel like you do. I feel like that you need to expand. If you haven't bought ads if you're on social media and you're not buying ads to expand your viewership, you might need to go ahead and do that because what what you're concentrating on is not it. There's money, but it ain't. it's not the way it should be. It's not the way it's popping. And some jealousy and envy is there. So that could be why the road opener and relocation is showing money coming into your family, education, learning something new, could be expanding knowledge, teaching. Now, moving into the health over here, we do have the dead, but they're in a good position. They're in the upright, which is really good, especially with the demon upside down, which means whatever this thing is, a person that's stressing you out, they really don't have power over the dead that walk with you. Spirit is giving you loyalty. Your ancestors are like the dog is there. We got your back. This is family. Like, we got you. You know, we know that you're you're creating something, you're giving birth to something new, but you need to watch your back. There's somebody that could be trying to affect your money, or they could be trying to cause some issues with you as far as finances, but they don't have the final say so because it looks like at the end, spirit opens the door. The dead is like we're protecting. Whatever this energy is, it may cause some health issues. If this is somebody stressing you out, somebody doing spell work, we have the claw on top of spirit, which means that there's a spiritual warfare. Some of you, 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 it's good versus evil type of energy. But you have so much spirit around you. They're kind of giving you the heads up. The sword is like literally watch your back. Some of you are not looking at the people around you. You really need to open your eyes and see what you got going on. The good thing is that some of you don't trust everybody. You're protecting yourself but you're kind of leaving yourself wide open at the same time. I think what you're doing is you're protecting this, whatever this growth is, this transformation, you know, the spiritual thing that's going on. I know I'm doing something right. I know I'm moving in the right direction. I feel the breakthrough kind of coming. I know the money's coming. I know the job of the business is expanding. I don't want nobody to fuck with this. 
nobody fuck with this. But then it looks like that when you start trying to do other things, some of you are leaving yourself a little bit wide open where you got to watch your back with some people that you know. Could be competitors too because we got the devil up here looking. Some of you, this could be competition. We don't want you to, to, to outgrow us or make more money. But don't turn your back on them, Virgo. Don't turn your back. There's definitely some issues in the house with somebody that could be, I want to spend this, let's spend that, let's move this way. But I think that's minor. If this is a roommate or a spouse, I think that's minor energy. The money is going to be there. Y'all just got to get on the same page. Also, it could be that a person is saying, I really don't want to be in this house anymore. Let's go ahead and get a different place. Let's relocate. Let's move somewhere else. And relocation is coming. Some of you, if you live in an apartment or someplace, the landlord may not be taking care of things. And you're like, I don't really know if I want to. I got money now. I don't know if I want to keep sinking something into this. So I do feel like there's a move, but I don't think it's forced. I think some of you are making a decision because you're getting the key. Relocation. Spirit is like, okay, let's move forward. Pay attention to the messages that come from spirit. They're looking right at this demon. And they can see the person behind this demon. So some of you, you have somebody who's trying to manipulate spirit. And then they're trying to be, you know, they're cowardly. They're cowardly. But here we got the first thing that came out was the sun, happiness, joy, exclamation point. This is my time. This is my time. I'm feeling it. The job is coming. The money is coming. You know, and unfortunately, as you grow and do better, Virgo, you're going to have people that don't want to see you grow and do better. They just don't. And I think some of you, you have trust issues with it. You're looking. You already know. The vibe is there. You you are kind of, I feel like spirit is like, don't fuck with them. And you're like, I know. I know spirit, but I want to take their money. But all money ain't good money. So be really careful with that, Virgo. If you're going to play the game, make sure that you get the one up. Don't turn your back. The moment you turn the back, somebody's going to pick up the sword and try to stab you in the back. This could be with partnerships, friends, and things like that, because you definitely have somebody who is really jealous of, you know, what you're passionate about. But the the spirit and the ancestor are saying, no, we, we got you. There's loyalty there. You got a protector. Some of you may even have a familiar on the other side, a dog or a cat or an animal that was very fiercely protective of you. And they're still watching you. They see this new beginning. They're protecting this new beginning. They literally are right in the middle of the ancestors. They're like, try to get past me, bitch. Try to get past me. I got something for you. But the warning is like, they can only do so much on the spiritual. The physical is... Don't turn your back and let this person get you. I wonder if there's some competition. I do feel like there's some competition for an opportunity or a job. The spirit is like, don't turn your back on this person. You may think because you're not seeing them. You remember the eyes upside down. You may be like, oh, this person ain't, you know, ain't, they ain't strong. They, they ain't got what I got. And a lot of people, that would be the final words before the competition came and stabbed them in the back. They they let their guard down. They got complacent. Don't do it, Virgo. Don't do it because this person is ready. Is ready. They're ready to stab you in the back. Definitely some of you are workaholic, spirit of sin. Make sure you have some fun. You know, there's transformation that's coming, but you're protecting it. So there is this thing of, yeah, you've been working hard. You got some fruits of your labor coming through. I'm not going to say let your guard down because we already know you got to watch your back. But some of you are being a little bit too, too tight with it. And it could cause some type of health issue that's coming in for you. So you're going to have to balance this energy. And I think they've been telling you this for a while, Virgo. So let's pull a few cards and we'll finish it out. Virgo, 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 any messages, any guidance for Virgo spirit, anything that they need to hear, Virgo, any guidance, any messages, anything else they need to hear, one more time spirit, Virgo, all right, let's see what we have, Ace of Cups, New opportunity, business creativity, actions coming in, will of fortune, fate, good luck, karma, barriers coming in, unprepared, slow progress, resistance. So we got something, good luck comes in, it's protected, your crown is on, there's recognition that comes to you, transformation, will of fortune. 
It is coming in. You manifested this. Ace of Cups, creativity, giving birth to something new. Barriers. Well, it could be that these, you know, these people over here that are trying to affect your money are not supporting you. And then we got slow progress because your business or whatever you're trying to do, your endeavor is not growing as fast as you need it to grow. You have the wrong people. Caution, obstacles, foresight, slow movement. Write all this in your passion sector. Somebody's trying to hit you right where you're at. Financial loss, difficulties, responsibility, overwhelm, overwhelm, burdens, a challenge. But I think that's where this energy is right here. All right here. Could be competition, but I do feel like if this is friends or whatever, you got people that are not supporting. So we got responsibility over work, and that could be where you're over here. Maybe that's why you're face down. I'm tired. I was a little tired. You know, I had to deal with all this energy. I'm trying to break through this. I'm tired. I'm going to turn my back, and the person is like, I got the sword. But then we got the challenge. All right. We got eight of wands. Messages coming in. New job. Something that you need to hear. Opportunity. Could be spirit. Like, we got your back. Come on. Was that a good dog? That was a bad dog. That's a good dog. Big dog. I sounded like a chihuahua the first time. Virgo, I'm so sorry. But y'all get it. I shouldn't even be barking, but I felt the need to kind of let y'all know that spirit is like, we got you. New job message coming in. Acceleration. Let's pick this back up. Movement, action, speed. Also, relocating could be part of the movement. The key, opening things up. We got the plane over here. There's some travel trip coming in. Acceleration. Relief. Fatigue. The worst has passed. Wonder if the doctor, the issues over here in the health could be that you had to really push through this energy to get where you need to be. Liberation, though. I don't have to deal with this energy anymore. I broke through it. New job comes in. Money comes in. One more card. Reveal. Openness. Stolen items. Seeing people for who they really are. And this is what? Seven of Swords. A thief. Competition. But you see clearly. You turned around. You turned your eye upright. You did. After you got through all this bullshit, you turned back around and you looked and you're like, okay, now I see who you are. Now I see why you did what you did. But the thing is, it, they revealed themselves or either spirit revealed it. Spirit showed you. But some of you, you're in the midst of this. You can't see it. But when you break through it, it's almost like you're going to look back and look at this person and be like, damn, damn. And the final one, Ace of Swords, Breakthrough. Ideas, new beginnings, success, willpower, focus. Well, head on, Virgo. I felt like I just want to throw the cards out. I want to throw the cards out. Whatever it is, Virgo, you won. You had a battle. Definitely, if you are working, you're building a business. And this is for some of you. This is going to be definitely career. There's no love connection other than maybe that some of you are packing up with a partner, going into business with a partner, um, growing something with a partner. But it all comes back to money. So even if this is somebody that you're romantically involved with, you're actually trying to build something with them, some type of empire with a partnership. If this is not romantic, some of you may have a person that you're dealing with, working with, and it's like there's a breakthrough there. Be prepared. Some of you may actually, if this is a competition between you and them at some point, you may break away and do your own thing. The final card, Ace of Swords. I'm, I'm cutting through the bullshit. I have ideas that I want to do. New beginnings coming in. Success. My willpower push me through. I'm focused on what I need to do. Once you get past this energy, Virgo, y'all are going to have a freaking phenomenal year. You are. Some of y'all are wasting your time on this bullshit, this congestion right here with people that don't support you, aren't looking out for you, aren't your people. And I'm not sure. Some of you, I think there's a loyalty to somebody or some people that doesn't need to be there because they're not loyal to you. Ancestors are like, remember who has your back. Remember where your loyalty is. Remember who takes care of you. Spirit, put them first. And I, that doesn't have to be God, goddess or whatever, whatever you believe in. You have a higher force that's telling you. We watching you. We can tell you what's going on. And they're trying to get you to see some things around you. You're getting it because you're already starting to protect your energy over here. This transformation, this spiritual connection, the crown, the recognition. This is all protected. Giving birth to something new. Some of you, though, you still have some, some misguided or blind loyalty to some people around you. But you're going to see these people for who they really are. And if they are friends that become competition, 
you're cutting away that energy. Some of you are going to have to go through it before you can turn around and see. And that's the worst energy, Virgo, of having friends. You build something with them. And then you're like, wow, we're struggling. Why are we struggling? And the person is like, yeah, we're struggling. You know, they're going along with your energy. And then you turn around after the struggle and you realize that the fool next to you was the struggle. They were the struggle. If you had cut them loose a while back, it would have been a smoother ride for you. But for some of you, it could be family business, could be a really good friend that you've been connected to. Some of you may feel obligated, and you do. The only reason that I would think you would feel obligated to this person is if they were family or there was a relationship at some point. But be careful of blind loyalty. The main thing is breakthrough, willpower, focus, success, Virgo. You got it. It's coming through. Don't work as hard as you have to with this, though, Virgo. Get get in the get, get in the, the, the front of it and, and turn your eyes upright. Look. Look. Have clarity. It's a hard thing to do, especially with people you love. But some of you really need to open your eyes and see the bullshit, the, the, the stuff that needs to be moved out the way. Don't turn your back on them either with this, this sword. Don't do that. Spirit is like, look, they have a sword in their hand. They're not your people. All right, Virgo. It's a good reading because you got the breakthrough this month. If you're building something, if you're starting a business, if you're starting a project, you got competition. You are going through a battle, but you're coming out. You got the breakthrough. It's because of your willpower and your focus, but watch your health. Some of you, I think you know you're already in a battle. And if you are fighting, you're not really taking care of yourself. And you got to take breaks. When you can't fight, pull back. Let your spirits come in. Call on your ancestors. Really, if you were smart, call on them first. Let them handle some of this bullshit. You'll be surprised how quick they clear people away from you that don't need to be there. All you have to say is show me what I need to see. And be prepared when they show it to you to follow through with cutting these people away. Some people pray that prayer and then they look at the cheating husband. They look at the backstabbing friend. They look at the shady business partner and they still keep ties with them people after spirit has showed you who these mofos are. If they show you who they are and you know that they're fucked up and they're no good for you, Virgo, follow through with the action. Trust me, it's going to save you a lot of this bullshit if you do. All right, my loves, y'all have a beautiful day. I will talk to you soon.